Hey, how is everybody? Lou from RV Habit. I installed this electronic keyless RV lock uh, lock on my RV about 14 months ago and I experienced a total failure. So I contacted their technical support and after looking at it and everything, I didn't see any damage, any water intrusion or anything like that, but they recommended I replace the PCB board and the KP D board, which one is the keypad and one is the uh, basically the circuit board. And I took it all apart and I found out actually it was another problem. It was the battery compartment. So uh, let me show you what I ordered. I ordered a PCB board. And again, these were, the good thing is, although it's an expensive lock, these parts were not actually that expensive. This was $10 for the computer board. It was $10 for the keypad board. And it was an additional five dollars for this battery compartment and this is ended up what's uh what was wrong i'll show you when we take it apart but i recommend if you have a problem like this take it apart first because if it's the battery compartment it actually comes with the computer board already installed but it is if it's just the board it's easy to switch it out to the existing battery compartment door. So let me show you, bring you in close, I'll show you how to take it apart and what my problem was and how you fix it if you have this problem. So basically this is the inside paddle of the hand of the uh, door lock and this is where we're going to start. This is the battery compartment and it simply comes off with two simple screws can slide it forward and remove that and this is where you would insert your four batteries inside here there's two smaller screws and that's going to allow me to take out the battery compartment which is this plastic piece here and the PCB board is inside here okay now in order to remove this, it's going to go out, you're going to actually pull it from the back. You just put your thumb in here like this and push and there, there's this little knob. You got to kind of pull down and push at the same time and it'll end up coming out. And it's not that easy, but there you go. I just released it and then just push out and you can see it slides out. And this plug goes right through the back handle and it's out. Now, I had originally just ordered, let me get the board actually just slips in there. Let me show you this. Just like that, it just slips in these two channels and holds it there. And connected is the battery compartment, which feeds power to the PCB board, which is this little plug here. Well, after going to replace it, I don't know if we can see it, but you can see this, all this corrosion here on the plug. And when I remove this plug from the board, I don't know if you can see this. Look how corroded and burnt out that is. So I needed a new complete setup. I needed a new PCB board and the compartment board. And that is what they've sent me. And again, this is all pre-installed, but if you don't need a battery board, you can just slide the new battery board right in. And we're gonna just put this back in, in the reverse order. So, the cord comes through, and you kind of wiggle that through towards the back. Once that's in, we're just gonna slide this in now the only thing to be careful of is this little switch it goes on and off this is your key fob on and off switch that's a little tough to get in there and we're just going to kind of you got to kind of finesse it in there there we go it's a snug fit for sure and just keep an eye on this this cord here that it stays in the channel and then slide it over. Now I found to get this in, you take a little screwdriver and push on that little plug. 
and that'll help you get that in. There we go, and that's in. And that's it. You can see in the back, it set the cords through the thing. And then what we can do is just simply reinstall the two screws that hold the battery tray in. And that's it. That part's done. That's all finished. Now the second part was the KPD board. And that is on the main unit here, upside down. And you have four screws that hold in that unit. And it's right behind this metal panel. So we'll remove these screws. And that's the last screw. And all you want to do is kind of come in here and kind of just pry open that little metal plate. It kind of sticks in there. And that plate will come off. And you can see it's got like a foam gasket there to keep it protected from water. This plug is what goes to the other, the inside handle. And then this plug plugs into this board here and that just pulls out and then we will be able to lift this up gently there we go there we go so I have the new board here that I'm just going to plug in and Underneath here, there's a, a little piece of plastic. That's like the pad that protects these numbers. That stays in there. And then this new board just slips right in there. Fits perfectly. I'm going to take that plug, and we're going to plug it back in. There we go. And again, there's a little channel right here to keep the wires. So when we put this back on, you want those wires in that channel. And then we'll just reinstall all those screws. Okay, so we're done with the keypad. Now, now we can test it actually. So for testing purposes, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front and the back right here on the table before I install it back in the RV. And I'm just going to connect these two plugs. Okay, and then I'm going to put some batteries in. And I already hear it works because I got a, a, a tone. So I know it works. I can actually, let's just probably press this. And there it goes. I don't know if you saw that. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, unlock. And you can see it working. So the problem's been fixed. Now, I will say, let me just undo this for a second so I don't break anything. I will say that uh, this lasted 14 months and then I had a failure. I wasn't happy that it was two months out of warranty. But I will say technical support was very helpful and the parts to replace it are not, uh, they're, they're very affordable compared to what this lock cost. So the parts to fix it are, are definitely um, in the right price range. That doesn't hurt so bad. But you could see, look at this battery compartment. Now, I never had a battery failure or anything, but there is a lot of corrosion all in this back end here. So I don't know if water was leaking in there or not, but I will say that uh, there's a foam gasket here, and they did send me a new foam gasket, no charge. So 
that's it. If you have this problem, hopefully uh, this will fix it. It's a very simple fix. The parts are very affordable, and uh, you can do this in a couple minutes and get it back on. As always, I appreciate everybody taking time to watch. Remember, if you see me out there, stop by and say hello, and I'll see you soon. Check your ad soon. No. Stop by has that. I can't. I can't. Why? Why can't I say goodbye? <laughs> so that's it. Why am I saying so? That's it. I appreciate everybody watching. If you remember, if you see me, I'll see you soon. No. And that's going to have to be good enough.